Would you like to know how to hire a ghostwriter for your book? Now, I've had experience with that, not as a publisher or as a writer or anything like that, but I've recently written a book myself and I've had a terrible experience and an amazing experience with two different ghostwriters. So I wanna to talk to you about how you can have a great experience. So I'm gonna start up this episode talking about my failure and my success in hiring a ghostwriter. Then I'm gonna share with you several different tips on how you can find the best ghostwriter to work with you. Then I'm gonna wrap up this video talking about the qualities that a really good ghostwriter has. So let's dive right in. Okay, so this is the book. In fact, let me show you my, my hardcover. This has been an over two year journey, but just actively for two years. And I wanna tell you how this, how this book came about. I teach a YouTube strategy. Okay, so I, I've naturally for, for several years have started outlining and, and organizing that content into a book. Well, two years ago, I realized I'm never gonna get this book done if I don't hire some help. So I researched and I found a ghostwriter. And I'm just gonna tell you the numbers. I hired this ghostwriter for $40,000. Now, some of the ghostwriters I talked to, they charged 80 or 90,000. This guy, he talked my language. He's a very skilled individual, very knowledgeable. He's got a great track record. So I hired him for $40,000, knowing that it, it would be worth a worthwhile investment, okay? Now he did help me with some things. He helped me organize my content and kind of create the structure, the direction, kind of the flow from one chapter to the next. What he wasn't good at was writing. <laughs> and I virtually paid him that money up front, but when it came down to like polishing the book and actually checking for grammar, seeing if it was written in my voice, I was going through rewriting everything. We couldn't fix it. We couldn't find a way of, of having him write the book. And I just parted ways. That was about seven or eight months worth of working with him and finally deciding I just have to move on. And so my, my plan was to just finish writing the book myself. We already created the structure. We already had a lot of the content there, but it just needed to be written better. It needed to be something that people would enjoy reading and not get frustrated over the words. Well, I kind of dragged my feet. Writing is really hard for me. I can talk. If people ask me a question about something, I love answering it and it's not draining. And I can go deep, I can get really detailed and helpful, but writing it that way, it's just really draining for me. And so if, if that is your experience, if, if say writing a, a video script, I don't script my videos, I create talking point outlines, that's what I've got here. If I were to script this video, it would take me at least an hour, more likely two hours to write a word for word script because I'm, I'm a perfectionist with the words if I'm, if I'm writing a script that way. Well, that, that's kind of what a book is, at least to me. I want every word to be in my voice, but to be well written. I really care about the results of the book, of people reading it. I want them to implement it, and so it, it needs to be written well. Well, the progress I was making from one month to the next month, to the third month, to the fourth month, it was going very slowly, and it was really painful, and yet getting this book done was really, really important. And just writing the book, that's that's only the first step. I decided to look for another ghostwriter, but I learned from my mistake. I decided I'm gonna hire him and just pay him for one month at a time and see if we work well together. Well, the good news is he is an amazing ghostwriter and I still, I'm still working with him today. We're working on book two and three actually as we speak. What made this experience different is I could talk and he could write and it was well written and it was written in my voice. It was like my words that he was able to organize on paper or on, on computer. So that's the quick introduction to the story. Now I wanna give you details so that you can actually apply it and have success as well. So your first task is to find ghostwriters and I recommend going about that in a variety of ways. You could do a Google search or LinkedIn search, but I found referrals to be great, to be a good resource. That's just the first step though, like to, to get a name, you don't know if they're a good fit for you. So you wanna look at their portfolio, what type of books have they written or ghost written for other people? Is it the same type of genre? Is it the same type of, of direction or voice that, that you wanna have in your book? A lot of that can be discovered just by having a conversation. So I recommend talking to them on Zoom, talking to them about your book, about your message, see if they're really familiar with your industry, see if they can talk the language, if they know the lingo, if they really understand what you do or what you're trying to convey. Now what I changed and learned from, from the first ghostwriter to the second one, is don't pay them all up front. 
or don't get this, this long contract for this specific dollar amount, but have an agreement that just goes month to month. Because if one month doesn't work, or if you ever want to stop working and find somebody else to work with, you can do that and not have a, a, a long contract that like knowing what I know now, I would never hire somebody with a long-term contract without testing them out. So you want to do a trial month or, or something like that. I've also learned not to pay for time or by calendar, like, hey, this is my monthly rate, but try and, and pay for the project. If they're gonna help you ghostwrite a book, kind of have an idea of the length of this book and the scope of this book, and, and talk about a budget and steps to get there and again, don't pay for it all up front, but also don't leave the length of time as kind of unknown. We don't know if it's gonna take four months or 12 months, because that, that can really add up. So let's talk about qualities of a great ghostwriter and the ghostwriter that I'm using and the qualities that he has, why we work so well together. So one, he can write in my voice. My book needs to sound like me. Now, you know, this is my paper book. I also did a book on Audible, so an audio book. I did not record it with my voice, but I hired somebody that delivered it the way that I wanted it to be delivered, the way that I see myself, like the best version of myself delivering it if I were to read the book. But that's a different conversation. That's, that's a, a voiceover artist. If a paragraph is written and I'm gonna read it out loud or I have somebody else read it out loud, it needs to sound like me, like my words, like, oh yeah, that sounds like Nate. And it obviously needs to be true to you. It needs to be true to your content, to your opinion, to your biases. I was gonna mention grammar, but I did improve the grammar. My book has much better grammar than I, than I do when I talk. If you're hiring a ghostwriter, this is their skill set. So what they write should be well written. Like they should be able to write things a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently than you. They also should know a lot more about the book structure and be able to really provide you a lot of help in the, the flow and the continuity of your book. This is easier to know of somebody if they've got a track record, if they've written a lot of other books and they can show you their portfolio. Now, the last thing that I wanna point out is the attribute of being responsive or responsiveness. So when I share some ideas, like how much time goes by before I hear back a response? If a day goes by, that's fine, but two days a week, that's not gonna work. What I love and can really uh, compliment my current ghostwriter on is how positive he is. It makes my experience of writing books two and book three, even finishing this book, so much more easy. Let me confirm what you've probably heard from others. It's a lot harder than you think to write a book, even when you hire a ghostwriter, getting all this information out and taking the time, because there's a lot of steps, it's hard work, and when your ghostwriter can be positive about it, he can be encouraging, he can follow up with you. I say he because my ghostwriter is a man, but obviously you can work with he or she. So those are all the attributes that I look for in, in my ghostwriter, and uh, hopefully that's helpful. Now, I have a gift for you. I want to give you my book for free. Now, we call this free plus shipping. So the cost to print a full color book is actually pretty expensive, a lot more expensive than I thought, but I had to do my book in color. As long as you pay the printing and the shipping costs, wherever you are in the world, no profit to me. This book is my gift to you. Now, what is this book? This book is to help you leverage YouTube to generate leads for your business. And you know the story behind this book, the two years of work I put into it. This will help you generate typically about $10,000 for every 100 views you get on YouTube when you follow the steps in this book. So that's my gift to you. Go to natesyoutubebook.com.